Hello, today is the 15th of March 2019 and it is day 29 of GHV Airfield Savers. Today we're looking at an interesting lady of aviation coming from the really early days, a British lady who really should be a little bit more known out there because she did so much pioneering, pioneering uh, activities in the field of aviation, both flying and building. Uh, she was born in 1864 and died in 1943. She's famous uh, for being the first British women, woman to earn a pilot's licence. She first attended the National Art Training School in South Kensington, specialising in woodwork, metalwork and needlework. Now, this set her up uh, indeed for uh, engineering work in the aviation industry later on. Her husband, Maurice, was actually unsympathetic to her involvement in aviation when she expressed an interest in flying, saying that women will never be as successful in aviation as men. They have not got the right type of nerve. But Hilda showed him that that was completely wrong. She attended her first aviation meeting in Blackpool in 1909. Shortly afterwards, getting this pseudonym, Grace Bird. She then travelled to France, to become a business partner of Gustave Blondeau and open the first British flying school in Brooklyn. On the 29th of August 1911, she became the first woman in the UK to gain her pilot's licence. Now, the flying school that she ran with uh, Blondeau uh, became quite famous at the time, even though it didn't run for a huge length of time. It had no accidents in the entire time it ran and one of the most famous pilots who learnt with Hilda Hewitt's flying school was none other than Tommy Sopwith, famous for the Sopwith Camel, the Sopwith range of aircraft and then transferring after the First World War into the Second World War his company became Hawker all the way through eventually merging Hawker Sidley and then uh, into BAE Systems late, much later on. She also was the first uh, woman to teach her own son to fly and her son became quite a famous uh, First World War uh, pilot with the Royal Navy Air Service. Now, not only was it flying and training people to fly was one of her accomplishments, she also founded with Blondeau the Hewlett and Blondeau Limited company to build Farman, Caudron and Hamriot aircraft under licence. Uh, they started out in London but then they discovered they needed more room so they moved out to Leegrave in Luton. At uh, the top of manufacturing, uh, uh, when it was very, very busy during the course of the First World War, when both the Royal Flying Corps and the Royal Navy Air Service needed as many aeroplanes as they, they could get, they got the licence to produce Avro aircraft, including the Avro 504, uh, and they produced up to 800 aircraft for both the Royal Flying Corps and the Royal Navy Air Service, and their factory at its height uh, had about 700 people working for it. And oddly enough, I didn't find out this until I was researching Hilda Hewlett. Uh, I went to college to do my uh, uh, degree in uh, uh, cartography and remote sensing, which is sort of aerial photography, uh, at Luton College back in the day. Now I stayed in a flat out of Lee Grave, and within walking distance of where I was staying was the Hewlett factory. And in fact, there's even now a Hewlett Road commemorating her close by. After the war, when all over the UK and all over Europe, the demand for aircraft for the war uh, purposes dropped off dramatically, uh, she sold the factory and they, she emigrated uh, to New Zealand, but still kept involved with aviation there. So in 1932, she was elected president of the Tauranga Aero and Gliding Club. She died in August 21st of August 1943 at Tauranga and following a service at the railway wharf she was buried at sea which was actually one of her requests. Now she's not very well known obviously in Luton she's a little bit better known uh, than she is in the rest of the UK but she really ought to be better known because she was that first British woman with a pilot's licence and a really early uh, aviation company owner uh, and trained several famous people. So that's it and she was actually quite an interesting person in her own right, quite eccentric with an unusual hairstyle, 
I'll show you a photograph of her down here uh, in the links or actually probably in, as part of the video uh, but I will put links to her on here. She travelled around in a motor car with boards rather than seats with Dalmatian, uh, two Dalmatian dogs. So a very interesting character, very well worth uh, researching and looking into and I think uh, online there is uh, some old photographs from one of the older Luton papers showing the interior of her factory and I'll put links to that further down as well. So that's it. Hilda Hewlett, aviation, a, aviation pioneer and aviatrix, 1864 to 1943. Thank you.